out on the road here, things are looking pretty wet, and that's what we're worried about for tonight because those temperatures come crashing down. New York catching a break in the action. We've seen over 70 inches of snow. That's taller than me. Now we continue to deal with some heavy blinding downpours indicated by this line of red, pink, orange and yellow really just lighting up our radar like a Christmas tree. Cold front pushing through, providing for some very heavy rain right now. Also some gusty winds. The band is going to push through. Featuring some homemade pancakes, mostly cloudy skies, temperature of 47 and our AccuWeather rail fill in the lower 50s. You know, there is an art to making pancakes, I will say. You want to get the batter very thin. Also, just make sure you watch for a lot of those bubbles to start coming up. That's when you know to flip. I'm not saying that I'm a connoisseur here, but pancakes are kind of my thing. And you know, my friends always tell me, just cover for everything. Uh, rain, snow, a little bit of a wintry mix. That way you're never wrong. Well, today we saw all of that take place across the Central Plains states. We're also uh, dealing with some slick conditions. Uh, look, stuff. this uh, matches your dress here, that little <laughs> pink shading. Just to the northwest of Chicago, about 10 inches of water on some roadways. And we can see over the past couple hours, these thunderstorms started firing up and kind of just running over the same area. That's what we call training. Washington, D.C., you've been flirting with the rain snow line pretty much all day long. The higher accumulations taking place to the northwest of the city near Westminster. We continue to just be hard hit with some steady snow. Keep your family safe. You have to turn the crank and this will uh, charge the weather radio. Then when there's severe storms coming your way or an impending tornado warning, the siren will sound like this. These red blinking boxes that you see popping up on the screen are actually tornado watches. The latest one that extends into Pensacola. Yeah, Paul, uh, this area of low pressure kind of on the snail pace on the uh, tractor setting here. Yes. Just barely moving at all. Flood threat going to continue into Friday. Overnight low tonight, dipping below the freezing mark, coming in at 30. So bundle up. Just another cold night ahead. But the good news is I-95 corridor is going to stay dry as we uh, go into the early morning hours hours of Tuesday, so shouldn't have any weather related delays in and out of Washington, Baltimore or towards the Richmond area as we do have an area of high pressure keeping us nice and dry and also sunny across much of the northeast. Tuesday still a pretty chilly afternoon coming up for Washington, but temperatures will be on the rise by the time we head into the middle half of the week. So pretty seasonable for this time of year in the city. Plenty of bright sunshine, our daytime high getting to 52. So compared to Monday, a little bit better. We'll uh, sit in the mid 30s for Tuesday night with a moonlit sky, but however, still going to be a little bit on the chilly side. Here's a look at our seven day extended forecast. Just watch as our temperatures continue to increase. 55 Wednesday, pretty high travel day coming up before Thanksgiving. Looks to be no weather related delays for Washington, so that's definitely some good news if you're traveling to visit family. We'll have partly sunny skies back out to play for Thursday, and it's going to be feeling a lot warmer. Daytime highs in the lower 60s, not stopping there, getting into the mid 60s by Friday.